We're all having a good time? Yes! Good. <laughs> you know, when I first signed up to do a, a comedy gig for charity, I was really apprehensive because, well, I suffer from low self-esteem and I just thought people would laugh at me. <laughs> no, apparently the condition I suffer from is called um, chronic performance anxiety. <laughs> Uh, if you don't believe me, just ask any of my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> uh, so unbelievably, I'm back on the dating scene. And um, friends have told me that these days um, dating is extremely hard. Um, but being in my mid-40s, this isn't always the case. <laughs> but I think my problem, I think part of my problem is that I never read those sort of subtle signals that women give out. You know, sort of sexy flash of the eyes, or a, a sultry bite of the lip, or a fuck off, you creep. <laughs> it's, uh, I know I can't get any dates because, like, I'm out of shape and, well, I just hate going to the gym. Probably because I'm not very good at it. And, um, I think my problem is that, uh, I walk, I just, uh, I always give in to, like, sort of instant self gratification. I mean, I walk past the McDonald's like a paedophile walks past the playground. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm from this thriving metropolis, Greenock. And, and it's great. We've got all the mod cons, electricity, landline phones, and cold running water, 24-7. 20, 20, That's how so much it bloody rains. And I work in this sort of crumbling mall in Greenock that looks like one of the malls out of the zombie apocalypse movies. Except there seems to be populated by more of the undead. And my job's in the opticians in the mall. And it's always good for a laugh. It's just full of these maniac zombies. They're crazy questions that only seem to make sense to the undead. Oh, when am I new eyes, you son? <laughs> new, new eyes? Uh, how much do you charge for the free eye test? <laughs> and, my pers and my personal favourite. Excuse me, son. When am I new glasses, you in? I need them for seeing. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> but I haven't always stayed in this um, haven of enlightenment, ladies and gentlemen. When I was younger, I actually moved to America to study at the prestigious Yale University. And I actually graduated top of my class as a locksmith. <laughs> I know I should be mortified. I actually studied archaeology at university, but uh, I just wasn't any good at it. I just wanted to like, sir, wear the hat. Can I crack the whip? <laughs> Befriend small Chinese boys. <laughs> no, but actually, archaeology in this country is a lot like time team. It's all sort of like um, craft beer and beards. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm neither crafty nor beardy. <laughs> And these sort of like um, bearded barley belchers were always sort of finding really cool stuff on the digs. Like, you know, like Serbian war graves or the Ark of the Covenant or just Lane Maxwell's remains. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't meant to view that for another six months. <laughs> no, but say. Uh, it's a, it's archaeology, it's like one of those like kind of like grand that sort of like things that I was going to do that just never came to fruition. And this always sort of like annoys my mother, who thinks I should be like sort of like master of the universe by now or something. And the funny thing is, because I've got such a like crappy and mundane job to go with my crappy and mundane life, she's always looking for these like exotic and sort of like amazing jobs that I'm clearly not cut out for, like a comedian. <laughs> No, seriously, folks, I dread going round there and she's reading the papers and she'll be looking at these sort of crazy jobs for me and she'll suggest them to me and she'll be like, oh, in fact, put the mics down. It says here that they're looking for a, a, a mortician at the hospital. And I'll be like, Mum, I'm in my mid 40s. I've had plenty of experience dealing with a few stuffs. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, here's one. This sounds important. Media distribution officer. But, Mum, that's a paper round. <laughs> OK. Well, it says here that the producers are looking for someone to join the cast of Friends. Oh. I thought, whoa, that might not be too bad. And then I said, Mum, I'm not really that good a strummer. Thank you very much for being coming in there. <laughs>